Alex Chavez with an aspiration. Today is shortening the over and under conveyor chain. When the chain is in use after several months, you know, it has a tendency to stretch out, you know, wear and tear in the pins, elongation. Uh, the chain will start to create slack. We have an automatic tensioning system, which is the spring tension. Like I said, that'll only give you, you know, up to six inches, 10 inches on our newer system of uh, uh, ch automatic chain tension. It reaches a certain point where you have to shorten the chain. In this case, the conveyor, we've simulated a chain that's very loose. The chain, the spring is maxed out all the way. It cannot stretch the chain anymore. And as you can see, the chain is very loose. Uh, that could cause uh, jamming, you know, plus uh, the main thing would be jamming. Uh, this is a definite no-no. Okay, one of the things we're going to do right now is on your conveyor, what you want to do is cycle the conveyor chain until you find the link. There's a section of chain, like this one right over here, let me show you. This, this conveyor section, it'll have five feet of chain that's got uh, cotter pins in every one. That's your adjustment chain. What you can see is got a cotter pin and then this drive pin. It's got a circle here, round hole, and a rectangular hole, because it fits with the flat ends in this direction. So that's so that this axle won't spin. You know, it'll sit there and lock itself in. So we're going to cycle the conveyor until we find. Here's the section right now. You can see all the pins. We're going to shut off the power. and a half wrench and that is for here turning this nut what that's going to do is you turn the nut and it's going to compress the spring the chain is going to get even looser and then you can cut the chain and reattach it but the easiest way is to take two little pieces of chain like this like these guys and what we're going to do is put one end of the chain in here on the other side.
There's that pin. Now, what we're going to do is use the piece of wood back here, put it up against the back so that we can hit this. There's a the pin. And we're going to take out two links. This one came out pretty easy. And we're going to repeat the process here and take out We'll use this guy to push it through. And you see there's a piece. And now we took out that section and we're going to put this back together here. That's rectangular shape. That's round. This can't go in there. It can come in through this other side. piece of wood behind the pin and tap this tap that over we can tap it right here so now we can put our cotter pin back in it helps if you have new ones of these Sergio let me have that new one no look Chaveta this is a brand new one. Slips right in. Then with the flat screwdriver, that's what the flat screwdriver is for. Put it in between there. Turn it a little bit so that it's open. Loosen off the come along. The come along goes all the way over here. Now we're going to make sure we remove all the hardware. Now in this case we'll remove two links. You might need to take out more. Now you can see the chain is nice and straight. There's no slack in it. You can compress the spring all the way back on this end. Right here. The spring itself, inside has a, a tube, you can see this tube right here, that's a stop tube. So you can actually compress this all the way back until it stops on that tube, take this box all the way back with the come along, or with this nut back here, you can tighten it all the way till it stops. If you don't have a come along and you use a wrench to tighten the nut to compress the spring, after you're done you're going to have to loosen off the nut so that it's free floating. See the, the nut is all the way back here. It's not tight anymore. Now the spring is taking up all the slack of the chain. Very important. Make sure that's loose. You can see the nut back here. All right. So now the chain is taut. And that concludes our over and under chain.